Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. I came uh, from work early today and as you can see I didn't change because I want to look beautiful for you. <laughs> anyways, anyways, um, in today's video I am going to show you how I teach book number two, Little Zoe Looking for Mom. This story is very simple it's very easy i guess it's too easy for grade four so i decided that in my first lesson i would teach um i would yeah i would teach animal groups to them uh to make it more challenging because uh you know when you teach storybooks some of them are easy some of them are hard but you can always adapt um uh, the story in the book the text to the needs of your students so um, in this class you will see uh, how I teach animal groups and you will also see what post reading activities I use and actually this class was a bit rowdy I had a couple of um, rowdy students that I had to deal with and I didn't finish the last activity, the last game that I planned. But I think it's going to be good for you to see how I manage difficult students in class. And maybe you can use um, some classroom management techniques and transfer them from my class to yours. Uh, so I hope that it's going to be uh, useful for everyone to see. And as I always say, um, if you like what I'm doing, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what you do in your classes. Um, tell me what you think in the comment section below. As you have probably noticed, I try my best to reply to as many comments as I can. And really, guys, it means so much to me. Um, that you are writing, that you are sharing, and all this wonderful, uh, amazing, super kind, and heartfelt comments, I'm just overwhelmed. Thank you so much for your feedback. Thank you so much for your support. Love you all.
won. We want to be Superman. We reviewed it, yes? And today we are going to start book number two. Ta -da! No, how to make a pizza. It was a special class which we learned last week. But today we are going to read this book, okay? Uh, now, what is the title of this book? Who can tell me and remember to give me a full sentence? Yes. Yes, yes. The title of this book is So we. Excellent, thank you very much. Let's say it together. Little Zoe looking for mom. Little Zoe looking for mom. Good. What can you see on the book cover? What can you see on the book cover? Yes. I can see a bear and a rabbit. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, you can see a bear and a rabbit. Good. Who is Zoe? Who do you think Zoe is? I think the little rabbit is Zoe. Yes, yes, maybe the little rabbit is Zoe. And what do you think this book is about? What do you think it is about? Huh? Anyone? Yes? Uh, maybe. I think. I think it is about the. Uh, it is about Zoe. Uh, is lost. Was lost and mm -hmm. he or she maybe. Yes. Uh, wants to find mom. Yes. Very good guess. Very good guess. Yes, I like it. Or maybe Zoe is lost. Maybe Zoe is not lost. She lost her homework. And she cannot go to school. How can she go to school without homework? So she runs in tears, sees Mama Bear, and says, Mama Bear, I lost my homework. Can you help me find it? Maybe. We don't know. We are going to read and we are going to find out. Now, can you tell me what is similar between the bear and the rabbit? How are they similar? How are they the same? Uh, they're all animals. Excellent, that's right. They're both animals. And today's class is about animals. animals. Before we read the book, we will talk about animals. And I need you to sit nicely and quietly. But before we talk about animals, let's do a pop quiz. Let's see what you already know. Okay? Oh. I need one boy and one girl. There will be four fun and interesting questions. You need to choose one answer. A, B, C, or D. Very easy. If you don't know the answer, you guess it. Okay? Alright, so one and two. Please stand up. Okay, everybody else be quiet. I see someone talking. Alright, here we go. Question number one. How many teeth does a dog have? A, B, C, or D? A, what do you think? So do you, do you think A or B? B. 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 The correct answer is A. Yes, people have 32 or 28 teeth. Uh, some people have 28 teeth, some people have 32 teeth. Some people have 4 teeth extra. Yeah? Alright, who wants to do question number 2? Question number 2. Be quiet. Raise your hands quietly. Okay, that boy over there and this girl over here. Please stand up. Here we go. Question number two. Which one of these animals cannot jump? 
A, B, C, or D? Elephant, what do you think? Giraffe. Giraffe. Mm -hmm. The correct answer is elephant. <laughs> Elephants cannot jump because they are too heavy. Heavy. Right. Right. All giraffes can. They are not as heavy as animals. All right, next question. Next question. Question number three. Let's see. One and two. Please stand up. All right, here we go. What animal group are turtles in? It's not your turn. Be quiet. A, B, C, or D. If you don't know, take a guess. A, B, C, or D? A. A. What do you think? A. Yes, and look at our topic today. What is our topic today? Animal groups. Animal groups. And how do we say animal groups in Chinese? Oh, right. And now we have the last question. The last question. Who wants to give it a try? All right, one and two. Oh, sorry, maybe you can get this one is not hard. Okay. How tall is the emperor penguin? A, B, C, or D? B. Okay. You think it's B2, and you are right. Yes. Yes. Well done. Well done. Girls get a point. Sorry, 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 sorry. I made a mistake. I am sorry. Yes. Okay. So, emperors are 1.2 meters tall. They are the tallest penguins in the world. They're quite tall. Yes? Maybe some, maybe some emperor penguins uh, are tall. And are taller than... Are taller than 1.2 meters. Yes. 1.3 meters. Yes, maybe, 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 maybe some of them are even taller than 1.2 meters. That's right. Today we are going to learn five animal groups. And remember, everything I write on the board goes into your notebooks. Okay? Not here, not on the screen, but on the board. All right? Okay, good. So, tell me, what animal group is this? Can you read it in Chinese? Yes. How do we say mammals in English? Mammals. That's right. Together, mammals. Mammals. Can you please write what, uh, sorry. Can you please tell me what mammals are? Everybody read, everyone.
What about this animal group? Can you can you read it in Chinese? In English, they are called reptiles. Yes, together, reptiles. 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 Can you read what reptiles are? Can you read this for me? Reptiles are animals that have cold blood. They all lay eggs. Yes. Why is only one student reading? What about the rest of you? One more time, together. That's right. So reptiles are animals that have cold blood. Yes. Cold blood. And yes, they all lay eggs. So look, crocodiles are reptiles, snakes are reptiles, lizards, turtles, yes. Uh, my mom bought me three turtle eggs and they are hatched. Oh, that's really cool. Yes, that's really hatched. cool. So you have a zoo at home now. Mm, three, three, <laughs> little, three little turtles. That's really cool. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, what about this animal group? Insects. Insects. Together. Insects. 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 You two, you talk all the time. Please stop talking. Yes, insects, yeah? Can you read what insects are? Insects are animals that have six legs. Most of them have wings and can fly. Yes, insects are animals that have six legs. Do they have cold blood or warm blood? They don't have any blood, a little blood. Right, right. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of blood they have, if, it, if it's warm or cold. Uh, <laughs> no, wait, 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 listen, first of all, yes, somebody said that insects have three bodies. That's right, look, we have one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And we have six, six. Hey, can you please raise your hand if you want to speak? Right? Wait, raise your hand. So you see, they have three body parts, one, two, three, and some insects have wings, and some insects don't. So for example, what kind of insect is this? It's an ant, right. So ants do not have wings, so they cannot fly. Yes, so fireflies can, dragonflies, Butterflies, bees, yes. So, so the spiders are not insects. Yes, spiders are not insects. Why? Well, because, 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 because they, they have, they they have, have eight legs yes. and two parts of parts And two body parts, that's right, because they have eight legs. Yes, so spiders are not um, insects, they are arachnids. But we are not going to learn this word today. Okay, what about this? Birds. birds. Together, birds. Birds. Can you read about birds for me? Birds. birds. Okay, good, 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 good. Alright, now next 
one. Fish. Fish. Hey, together. Fish. Fish. Can you read about fish? Fish. Yes, I The fish are animals that live in water. That's right, that's right. Yes, and they have cold blood. Birds have warm blood. Yes. All right, so can you speak fish? Do you know how to say hello in fish language? I can teach you. I can speak fish. Look. Hello in fish is. <laughs> you can speak too. <laughs> For example, if I were a fish teacher, and if, I, if, if I would be angry, I would talk to you like this. <laughs> if you have a goldfish at home, you can look, look the fish in the eye and say, and the fish will, t will say something back. Alright, look. Alright. Now, so, are these animals mammals, reptiles, fish, birds, or insects? Look, I'm going to show you a picture, and you need to say one of these sentences. Let's practice. It is a mammal. It is a mammal. It, it is, is a reptile. It is a reptile. It is a fish. It is a fish. It is a bird. It is a bird. It is an insect. It is an insect. That's right, that's right. So, are you ready? Together. It is a mammal. It is a mammal. Correct. 
Thank you very much. Yes, boys give a point. All right, yes. I read a book called Pinya and it tells the giraffe Yes. Well, that's wonderful. That's why you know. The more you read, the more you know. All right, so yeah, it lives in Africa. Boys, read the sentence. It has girls. That's right. Good. All right. So, our second animal is a scary one. No. It is a blue shark. Now, all the boys, all the boys, please read. Give light at night, they glow in the dark. 
Have you ever seen a firefly? No! Some of you have, some of you haven't. I'm gonna show you. Look, that, you see? They glow in the night. I know, I know. I know you do. I know you do. But now you have to listen. I know you know. That's okay. All right, you see how beautiful they are? Yes. Amazing. Yes, yes. what do you want to say? I know why does the firefly is give light. So why? Because they breathe, and when it breathes, they have the light. Yes, yes, you are right. Okay, girls, can you finish reading about fireflies? They sleep during the day and move. Okay, and finally, the final, the fourth animal is the scariest. No, sorry, the scariest, the ugliest. He oh. is very, very ugly, and it is crocodile. Yes, wait, 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 wait. This time, we are going to read it this way. Look, boys. Girls, teacher, Val. Okay? All right, so boys start in one, two, three, go. This is a crocodile. Girls? Crocodiles are reptiles. 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 Teacher, Val. Many of them are very big, over seven meters. Boys? A monster crocodile. Yes. So look, crocodiles have very short legs. Yeah? Yes. So they cannot hold their babies in their legs. Too short. And they don't have any arms. But they have long mouths. And they carry their babies in their mouth. Look, the baby is sitting between, you know, the crocodile's teeth. Right? This is how they carry the baby. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. They don't eat the babies. No, they are very careful. They don't eat the babies. They don't swallow anything. Alright, so now let's play the first game. It is called What is the Question? So, uh, we have a sentence, and you need to make a question, okay? You need to tell me what the question is. So, for example, fish with water, what is the question? What is the question? Who? Yes. Where are fish sleep? R. Do we see R here? There is no R in the sentence. <laughs> Where? Where do fish live? Thank you very much. Where do fish live? Okay, good. So now, one boy, one girl. One boy, one girl. Who wants to give it? Uh, okay. Please stand up. And that boy over there, stand up. All right, here we go. Sharks are three meters long. What is the question? How long do the how long do, uh, how long are sharks? How, uh, good. How long are sharks? Yes. 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 Together. How long are sharks? How long are sharks? That's right. And boys get a point. How long are sharks? Correct. Okay, who wants to do the next one? Next one is a little bit hard. All right, who wants to do the next one? Oh, this boy over there and this girl. Please stand up. Try. That's okay. Look, giraffes are very tall. They are orange and brown. They have four very long legs. What is the question? In 
Chinese we would say Taman Kang Chilak is Shamayan. Yes, but, but we have giraffes here. So what do we say? Do we say does or do? So say it again. What do giraffes? What do giraffes look like? Excellent! Well done! Well done. What do giraffes look like? Correct! And girls get a point. The last question. The last question. This is the easy one. Very easy. Who wants to try a super easy one? Who hasn't tried yet? Who hasn't tried yet? You have tried. I did it. I did it. Okay, stand up. And this is very easy. Who wants to try? It? Girls. Yeah. Okay, it's really easy. Trust me. Very easy. Okay, ready? All right. Fireflies have two pairs of wings. How many pairs of wings, wings do they have? Or you can say how many wings. How many wings do they have? Together. How many wings do they have? How many wings do they have? That's right, that's right. Yes. Okay. And look. Listen to me. I had, well, I have a very interesting game for you to play. But we don't have time to do that. Who can tell me why we don't have time to play this funny game? Uh -huh. Who can tell me? Yes. Because the boys are talking. Yes, because the boys were talking. And instead of me teaching a lesson, I had to talk to the boys. I had to make them quiet, yes? And when I talk to the voice, I lose time, right? So I'm sorry, but we will not be able to play this game in class. Maybe some other time. So remember, there is always a game at the end of the class that we can play. This is a really fun one. It's about four boys and four girls in one team you become elephants and yeah but maybe we can do it some other time so please remember when you are talking you are not helping anybody right you are just losing time so i hope that next time you will be sitting nicely and quietly and we have enough time to play the game, right? So, let's take a look. Today, girls win, and they get a star. So now, girls have three stars, and boys have three stars. Well, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!